back again. Now, we'll move away from the 9X for the time being and talk about the um, RC5HL and how to connect that up. Now, this is the RC5HL board. Um, can't find a two, but uh, we'll just work with this one since this is the new board. Okay, down the bottom here, these five pins, I've connected them up so that uh, save time, although I've just waffled on too long. Anyway, this is your servo connector cables. The servo input comes in, in, in on these five ports here. Okay, This port here is for connection to your RX18. We have an indicator light that will let us know it's ready to turn on. And importantly, the other thing you need to be aware of are these this jumper selection set here. Okay. Now, if you are using the six-channel receiver, this one here from Hobby King, you set your jumper into that position. Okay. Can you see where that jumper is? It's across these inside two. Okay. That is for use with the six-channel receiver. When you're connecting up your six-channel receiver, this is channel one, so that Channels go one, two, or inputs go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is input one, goes into input one, channel one. So this is on the bottom here. Input two connects to channel two. Input three connects to channel three. Input four connects to channel four. And surprise, surprise, input five connects to channel 5. It's very important you have these cables the right way around. Okay, the yellow signal wire goes to the inside. So when you're looking at it this way, you'll see, should only see the yellow signal wire. Okay, yellow, 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 across there. Similarly, on the RC5HL, the yellow signal wire should be closest to the middle of the board. So yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay, so in that configuration there, I'm going to add the picture. In that configuration there, that's all set to go um, using your six-channel receiver and your 9X. Okay? Very simple. We won't be doing the, using the six-channel. We'll be running with the eight because that's a little bit more complicated. Okay. So, your eight-channel receiver. To connect up your eight-channel receiver, input one goes into channel one. Okay? Again, making sure that the yellow wire is on the top here. Now, here is the tricky bit. You need to swap around channels two and three. So, input three on the RC5HL must go into channel two. Okay, so you got that. So that's, as you can see there, this is, this is input two, it's not connected. So, one into one, three into two. Input two goes into channel three. So it's very, very important you have that, it's a, those two and three swapped around. And then the rest is as is. Channel four goes into input four, input five into channel five. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to remember when you're using the eight channel receiver. You must swap around two and three. The next most important thing, or next important thing you need to remember is to position the jumper, okay? Now, for the Turnergy 8-channel receiver, this jumper goes across the top two pins like so, okay? Must be across the top two pins. If you're connecting up the orange 8-channel receivers or 9-channel receivers, this goes across the bottom two pins, okay? So that's for orange, six and above, or for seven and above, and that top two pins are for the Turnergy, the Turnergy system. So across the top two for your standard 9X receiver, okay, important. So that's all set to go. Now, we'll just put that aside and we'll bring back in our 9X and we'll turn him on. Actually, we'll stop the video here and um, we'll come back to the 9X very soon.